great back porch finger picking song as I refer to songs like that. That is of course Alice's Restaurant. Well, it's of course a lot of different songs, but I want to talk about it as if it's Alice's Restaurant because that chord progression has been used for many other songs that way predate Keep On Truckin' by uh, Blind Boy Fuller is the same progression, more or less, later on done by Hot Tuna. And, uh, but it played the way Arlo Guthrie did it there. We have a very typical ragtime blues chord progression as opposed to stamp like 12 bar blues or something. And it's done with a fairly normal kind of Travis picking style where you just keep an alternating bass going, although there's some moving bass notes and everything in there. But the bass notes are always steady, pretty much on the beat, alternating back and forth. And that's the real key to Travis picking. You'll hear songs like Dust in the Wind, which of course goes much faster than that, but I want you to hear it kind of slowly because it's really the same type of, of picking pattern. So in um, Alice's Restaurant, all you really have to do is get the hang of the chord progression. It goes from C to A, and I like to play this A, you really need the high note on the A, so you need the partial bar at the second fret across four strings and then to D7. You can play this D7 lots of different ways. You can play it as an open chord, meaning the, the normal little triangular shape of D7. And again, over at our site at totallyguitars.com, I've got a chord, a whole, whole lesson on chords that show you all these chords. So a lot of the lessons don't go too far into the chords because you can find all that elsewhere, but they do talk about specific variations that are unique to a song. But in the case of Alice's Restaurant, you could play the D7 as a regular D7 chord, or one of the really useful ways, shaped like C7 at the thir third fret. So it's exactly like the shape of C, adding your fourth finger to the third string of the third fret, and then moving the whole thing up a whole step to the third fret, and keeping the steady alternating bass going there, and finally landing on a G chord, before you get back to C. So what we have is a little walk up in parallel thirds where the bass is going G, A, B, and the melody is going open B to C and D. Same as in Blackbird. Very similar songs, or at least very similar intros. So in, in Alice's Restaurant, it's three pinches on those notes that are a third apart, landing on a C chord, and now our alternating bass starts. So, uh, this is the type of song that uh, we have lessons of all over Totally Guitars, and this is what I'm thinking about doing, but the best way, if you're interested in seeing more about Alice's Restaurant, come on over there, check out the forum where there's all kinds of questions and answers and great advice and great videos that people have put together of lessons that are there. Be sure to check out the community where there are lots of groups talking about one thing or another. It could be Beatles songs or everybody's favorite picnic spot in, uh, in some part of the world. So. It's, it's become a really great thing. But one of the coolest things is if there's a song you really want to learn, go into the recommend a lesson section and hit, put a little uh, vote in for your song. You could even put in a whole little story as to why you think it would be a great song to learn. And those are the songs that I usually choose to, to get to and make lessons of. So if you like the idea of doing Alice's Restaurant or any other Arlo Guthrie songs or Keep on Truckin' or any other Hot Tuna songs, be sure to come check us out and hit the recommend a lesson button. Hope to see you over there at totallyguitars.com.